Around 70 Australian Defence Force troops are flying from Darwin to the UK this week to help train Ukrainian forces in their fight against Russia. Our reporter Matt Cunningham joins me live from Darwin now. Matt, what do we know about the plans and when are they going to leave Darwin? Well, they're expected to leave tomorrow. There will be uh, a uh, farewell that will be held here at Robertson Barracks here in Darwin this morning. Laura, uh, the Defence Personnel uh, Minister, Matt Keogh, will be here to send off uh, these 70 or so Australian troops who will be going over to the UK to train up to 20,000 Ukrainian soldiers. Now, uh, we heard uh, Richard Miles, the Defence Minister, speaking about this operation and exactly what they're doing, basically talking about the inexperience uh, of many of these Ukrainian soldiers soldiers. We will uh, see them going off to the UK tomorrow uh, and this is a really important deployment because what we are seeing in Ukraine now is really a, a reservist force. It's, it's a citizen army. It's people who are giving up their everyday jobs to defend their country and they very much have the, the heart it, but the, the skills that will be provided by these Australian personnel are going to be really important to equip them for the battlefield, to help keep them safe, to keep Ukraine in the fight and that's what we, we need to see so that Ukraine can ultimately resolve this conflict on its own terms. Has been noted that this training will be t taking place in the UK, Laura. These Australian troops won't be going into the war zone uh, in Ukraine itself. It is a move, though, that has uh, bipartisan support. Here's Simon Birmingham speaking about this issue. This is very welcome. It's important that we continue to do everything we possibly can to support Ukraine in their battle against the illegal and immoral invasion of their country by Russia. The previous coalition government put Australia at the forefront of giving support to Ukraine amongst non-NATO countries. And we did so militarily. We did so in a humanitarian sense as well. We made sure that Australia was well-placed to do what we could now, these Australian troops have been doing their own training leading up to the training that they'll be giving to the Ukrainian soldiers. They have been uh, training with AK-47 uh, weapons uh, that uh, are being used by the Ukrainian soldiers in their fight against Russia. This is a war that's been going on now for nearly 12 months, uh, Laura. Uh, it's had some devastating consequences. Australia now stepping up its support for Ukraine in its battle with Russia. Matt, thank you. Certainly welcome by the Ukraine as well. We'll check in soon.